Hi. You're gentle, right? Come here. I think you're faster than I am. Boop. So. <laughs> this has been a nightmare. Last time on Subnautica Below Zero. Like I was saying, we got our sea truck. We found Station Delta, and our next mission is... Oh yeah! I missed a huge plot point when I was trying to recap earlier. We are fused with Alan now. Alan is in our brain. We're gonna try to go find this other artifact for Alan. We saw the Aurora Borealis. And as far as blueprints go... The next thing I want to make is the depth module. Plasteel ingot and enameled glass. And it's pinned already. What do I make this in? Vehicle upgrades. I wonder where I construct that if I even have the ability to make it. How do I make enamel? <laughs> Look, it's the start of the day. <laughs> How do I make enameled glass? <laughs> glass, lead, and diamond. Right, we don't have any diamonds yet. Oh, Alan. Alan is our consciousness. This is pretty. Hello. Wow, gorgeous. What a beautiful game. Honestly, I don't mind just staring at the sky, although we are pretty cold here. Alright, uh... Let me in. How do I enter? I forget. From back here? Hello? Enter. Sea truck driver simulator. Let's, uh, let's go this way. I think I hit something. I think controller vibration is still on and I hit something. It threw me off for a second. That's how we turn the lights on and off. Okay, I can't go straight through the ocean floor. That's not gonna work out. Make sure to drive on the correct side of the ocean. Yeah. I Did I pack uh, snacks for the road? No. Did I fill up on gas? We have a power cell. Does that count? What's good truck driver etiquette? Oh, there's another, um, I forget what these are called. Not hoop fish. There's a sea monkey. There's a penguin. Pengling. Pingwing. Oh, there's a Gary fish, right? No. Here's something else. I'm just gonna, we're gonna continue. And we found one scary-ish fish, but it wasn't too bad so far. Some of the bigger fish over by the thermal vents were a little bit, a little bit scary. I'm gonna go towards Delta Station because that's where some of the deeper water was. Sorry, we're already running over all the fish. Quartz, salt. I don't see diamond yet. I 
I hear you, but I don't see you. Okay, we lost our fun ambient music. This is a little bit scarier, huh? Slightly. This is deeper. Is this an entrance to something? Mm, no. Oh. Sort of. But the sea truck can't get through. Oops. What was that? We didn't take damage, but it made an awful noise. Hey, Darren. Welcome in. Oh, there's, uh... What are these? Lobsters. Rock punchers. Oh, I keep taking out all of these creatures. Here's the thermal vents. Sorry. We're looking for diamonds and alien artifacts. Just your average scavenger hunt. Ooh. Everybody's yelling at me. Oh, that's a crash fish. Uh-huh, uh-huh. These. These are these guys are a little bit nasty. They like to chase after us. What's that? Ooh, and that looks like an egg. Oh, that's lithium. We have some lithium already. Kinda wanna get this egg, though. I think that's what that is. Stop yelling at me! <sighs> oh, it's not an egg. Ragged pitcher plant. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, that's salt, not an egg. You did something wild, what did you do? Nope. Detecting stern of an astronautical salt trans cove vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. An inoperative vessel nearby. Okay. Whoa, crash fish. Whoa. Cool. There's a uh, metal fragments. So many metal fragments like the ones we used to collect. Do we need titanium? Have I found? Yeah, we've been getting lots of titanium. Okay. I kind of forgot where we get it from. Because I feel like it wasn't from fragments like it was before in the other game. I wanted everything in one drive and hard drive because more room. So I told Windows to move everything in that drive. Forgetting Windows was in that drive. Oh no. That's like my worst nightmare. Can I fit this in here? I mean, technically. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay, it did not like that. Let's save real quick before we uh, go on this adventure. I bricked my PC, couldn't even get a new install. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's wild Windows didn't safeguard, yeah. I'm glad I'm glad computer people saved the day. That's rough. Oh, is this a PDA? No, a supply crate. Oh, titanium ingot, thanks. We don't have a laser cutter yet. A 
this is a this is an interesting little room here. Metal salvage. It's kind of a Metroid-y song to go along with it. You know, wreck ship. I was like, I told you to move files, please move them, Windows, and Windows was like, Sir, but I clicked ignore all for files like this. Oh, that'll get ya. It did try to safeguard, but you went past it. Indy, welcome in. How's it going? How are you? Hello, hello. Okay. Is this salvage or is this something I can... No, I'm pretty sure that's salvage. Leave me alone, don't chomp me. This wreck is cool. K8. I don't know that we found anything particularly useful from it yet. I wonder if I'm supposed to just scan the uh, exterior. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. We did get a PDA, right? No, we got a supply crate. I'm very hot. It's like 25C at 10 p.m. That's so hot. Oh my gosh. I hope you're able to find some relief. All right, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this. Let's try scanning it. Scanning what? Just the whole thing. I don't see like another entrance other than the one we used. Get back in there! Get back in there! We're gonna die! No, we're fine. I'll watch until I pass out. Okay. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Get some rest and some or or some some cool hang out in the fridge if you need to. <laughs> when I got the computer repair shop, they were like, "You can't do that." I'm here now. I've learned things and stuff. They were like, "What is this guy doing? Trying to move move windows?" overwrite windows. This thing's kind of cool looking. Tree spire. All right, we're all, we're let's get back on track. But wait, I can't resist. Oh shoot. What's down here? Come on, we want to find our first leviathan. <laughs> Warning. Maximum oh, crush depth. Hull Dang. Those look like, um, mushroom tops, though. Mushroom forest. Oh, <gasps> what are you? You're cool. Hello? Can I scan you? All I have is a measly sea glide. I feel like I'll run out of breath before I get the scan, you know? Wait, where is my sea glide? <laughs> okay, you keep going really far away. What kind of. You're like a shrimp slash. Demigorgon? What are you? Oh, we just ate that other one. Alright, maybe we'll take a pause from that for a moment then. That was fun. <laughs> the best way to learn things is to break things. It's thunderstorming here. Oh. It was super silly, but they organized my drives and reinstalled Windows for 60 bucks. Yeah. Alright. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I lost track of my um sea truck. Getting very distracted here. Swim to the light!
There it is. It's not too loud. I thought it was a clip from Frozen. No, that's just me. Just me singing. All right, I am sufficiently inspired to go back to where I'm supposed to. Oops. Which is here, maybe. Those look like, oh, you're gonna chomp, chomp me. They look like an angry platypus. I don't understand how to get to this. Where did we go last time? Maybe I need to turn on that other beacon from last time. There's some more crash fish. Wasn't there a Leviathan monster on here somewhere? There was a shrimp looking thing. Oh, here's one. This thing, but I got scared and I didn't want to scan it yet. But it is cool looking. Hi, hello. Oh yeah, maybe we need to go down there into that canyon. Oh, I should probably run away from that. Can I fit down there? What is that? Is this sea truck debris? We're gonna hit crushed up that 200, right? Oh. This is fun. Sea truck sleeper module. We need three. I saw two. Interesting. I don't know what that does. Uh, not yet. If you see me, no you don't. <laughs> okay. Oh right, because we can carry- the sea truck is like a tow truck. We can carry things behind us. Huh. Booster tank. Okay, nice. The dogs, that was one of my favorites. That was a really cool looking battle. Uh, and if you, Engineer, need to lurk and get the food and do the post-stream stuff, I totally understand. Thanks for bringing your people by. Feel free to lurk with us, to chat and say hello if you want. We are looking for a path to this alien artifact. And I keep getting distracted because there's so much cool stuff to look at. Gonna grab food and lurk, but it was great seeing you. Absolutely. Enjoy that food. Hi, Mom. Welcome in. Mom the human is here. Yes, she is my real mom. Just in time to see us get attacked. Uh, yeah, so this thing is cool. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. We saw it from quite the distance earlier. Oh, this is a iceberg that we're hitting our head against. <laughs> I need to scan it! Oh. Where is the, um... 
Where is Delta Station marker again? Here, let's go back this way. <sighs> we should repair this thing if we can. I do have a repair tool. Yeah. Oh, this makes a new noise. It's like a drill noise now. Okay, thank you. Platypus things remind me of sea leopards, but reptilian, yeah. There's our marker again. Are we closer this time than we were before? Now it got super dark. I am a terrible driver with this truck. I feel like this is where I was before along this thing. Oh. Well, that's fun. Hi, JP. Welcome in. Did we pick a name? I mean, I think it has to be Cold Daniel. But I haven't been able to name it yet. Um, oh, crash fish. Eh, whatever. Because I don't have a moon pool. I'm not actually sure if that's a necessity in this game compared to the last one. But I think, uh, whoa. I think cold Daniel will be just fine. <laughs> Oh, stasis? No, laser cutter. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think there's a sea monkey chasing me. Let's see if we can't get this through here. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Hello. We're friends. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, there's oxygen plants in here. So maybe it wants me to do that instead. This is really cool. What are those little spirally Welcome creatures? To Earth. Thank you for the host, Trav. I appreciate it. Thank you. Cold Daniel is perfect. Okay, I'm glad you like it. I feel like there's no other option. Spinner fish? Okay, cute. Um, still not quite where we need to be, huh? Oh my. Sure, this is fine. What you found is Welcome more than just an artifact. to Earth. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad Thanks, it could help, Alan. I know you would still prefer me to have a corporeal form of my own. Well, yes. If you continue searching, I may regain some of my connection to Wait, the Wait, I got stuck. Piece by piece. Oh no, I'm I'm confused. Okay, there we go. I got very confused. Uh, CG, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Oh, don't take my scanner. Hello, but don't take my scanner. Or my sea glide. Do the sea monkeys take the sea glide too? They just want to take all my stuff? What are these? Oh.
So what did, what did Alan just say? Answer? How do your people communicate if you're Weird. not networked? What do you mean? We just talk to each other. Do you not find that primitive? We exist as data. We are all aware of each other's thoughts and needs. Hmm? Scientific data accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Alan. I can't lie. Work would go faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but thoughts are private, and people have their own inner lives. People change and need space to think. Space helps you think. <laughs> I find that being separated from my network is very quiet. What, what do you mean by quiet? Imagine a thousand strings. Each playing its own range of notes, none louder than the others. Each one builds harmony, a continuous thrum in the background of existence. I am now a lone string in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help hmm. you find them. Propulsion cannon fragment, nice. Adam, welcome in. How's it going? Happy Sunday. I love that emote. That's such a good one. Alright, rusty start, but we got our first artifact. The quantum locker. Are there more of these? Water analysis station. This apparent research device seems built to determine the chemical components and properties of water samples. Um, testing for levels of bacterium in the water. Spectroscopic analysis. Experimental application of light, heat, or chemical compounds via the cylindrical core at the center of the storage chamber. Scattered wreckage. Tree spire. Um, spinnerfish is edible, and kelp root, harvestable for resources used in fabrication. Huh. The bowl-shaped pitcher produces a concentrated brine that pools inside due to its high density. When small organisms get too close, they are stunned, causing them to sink into the pitcher where they are dissolved and absorbed. Oh! That's fun. Propulsion cannon, we know how that works. And sleeper module. As a utility vehicle, the sea truck is ideally operated on a 24-hour schedule. With the addition of this module, it's possible to trade off piloting with a co-operator. It's advisable to resist detaching the module while there is a slumbering occupant as suffocation may occur. Oh, great. A foldable bed home environment system with, with a photo frame. That's cute. I like it. Just winding down for the day. There's a good place to be for that. I'm glad that you like it here for winding down. I feel that. End of the weekend, end of the day. So what's my next? Oh, this says, what you found is more than just an artifact. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. And this is the quantum locker, storage solution which shares content with all other quantum lockers. I love it. Hooray. Is that the only... No. Booster tank. Oh, use oxygen to give a speed boost. Oh, fun. It's hot for you? Yeah. Half my weekend was me with headphones and to drown my stupid neighbors. Yeah. I have to do that sometimes. So we need to make this quantum locker. Do 
Two titanium advanced wiring kit ion cube. Wiring kit computer chip. Two silver, two table coral, one gold, one copper. So many things. Let's go back. Can I put a fabricator inside of a sleeper module? I need a mobile fabricator. What's that? Mobile vehicle bay, okay. We have that already. What? Oh no! I'm sorry! Look! This thing, it's, I, it's hard to pilot. I'm not doing so good. <laughs> Move out of the way. Uh, that's a beacon fragment. We already know how to make beacons, right? Maybe? Yeah. There's another one. Or maybe it was a sea glide fragment. In any case, we have that. Hmm. So far from home. How does Sea Truck handle relative to Sea Moth? Are they the same? They're pretty similar, yeah. I feel like I have a harder time knowing the boundaries of the Sea Truck compared to the sea moth like how big it is around me I was gonna put creature eggs in there okay what do I have in storage here? An ion cube, which I need for this locker. Do we have to make two lockers then? An advanced wiring kit for which I have... I can make copper wire. I need more table coral. Ooh, and gold. Fresh out of gold. <sighs> Hi, Macchiato. Welcome in. How's it going? the nearest table coral. And why don't I have it stockpiled already? I feel like that's something kind of important to have on hand. Do they bring back the same sea creatures in this one? Or are they new? A lot of them are new so far. Hi, Admiral. Welcome in. Is this... This is what I need. Uh, so far, a lot of the small fish are the same. So the edible fish, the peepers, the boomerang, stuff like that. But there's no stalkers and manatees so far. I think they like warmer environments. And the we, we haven't seen any of the same leviathans yet. We've seen one, I think it's a leviathan. It's, it looks like a giant shrimp. Kinda.
We have to go back this way to get more gold. What's that? Creature egg or just kelp? Uh, it looked funny from far away. We're killing a lot of fish. I am running over every fish and I feel kind of bad about it. <laughs> I think I think there's gold in this area actually. Maybe it just needs to be no, I feel like it has to be more of like one of the warmer climates. I'm not sure. Let's go this way. It's a truck, but it can take off and swim too. Yeah. If you run over a fish, but then eat it, would you still feel bad? Um, yeah, I just feel like it's unnecessary. But I appreciate it. Also, I can't eat in freedom mode. I would have to turn on freedom mode to be able to do that. Okay, this is what we're looking for. Nice. I kind of want a couple. Oh yeah, last time we kept having these moments where I was like, alright, I'll give in chat tell me where to find this specific mineral like what's a good place to farm it and then i would find it in the game so hopefully we have more of that good luck today good luck and fewer shrimp monsters we got the mineral scanner last time it was a little helpful a little not Alright, there we go. We got two gold. Uh, what else do we need? If we're making two of these, we need more silver. So maybe we'll just start with one. Computer chip. Wiring kit. Yeah. I had those moments in other kinds of sorts whenever I asked my friends about university stuff I came to the solution the moment I said the message question. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you help me with this? Oh, never mind. I figured it out on my own. <laughs> Lots of creatures screaming in the dark. We explored this thing a little bit and didn't find very much. Oh yeah, how do I... I wonder... How to charge this other than making a new power cell... Excuse me, power cell. We can't dock it here, right? Charge, please. Hmm. Ooh, blizzard up, blizzard above water. So now we need to make this, and this, and this. And I can unpin this. Anything new here? No? And I can unpin this and make a quantum locker. Okay. Do we want to put stuff in storage? 
Why do I have so much titanium sitting out? I do not know. Now our storage is full. I think the lithium is for a plasteel ingot. We can go ahead and make one of those and that'll open up some storage space too. Very cool. We do need to make more than one of these, though. I don't have enough stuff. This is for our future depth module. Look at my scenery. Uh, we talked about helping Alan find the other strings. I don't understand. Okay, well, no, that's not what I wanted. We can save. I still feel like my best bet is to go look for diamonds so we have a depth module. Diamonds, gold, silver, table coral. there. Just one of these. Just a little cave. Not much in here. Ribbon plant. Yeah, unremarkable. Okay. Hi, Llama. Welcome in. It's just a big Minecraft mod, yeah. I think so. <laughs> Minecraft and Terraria vibes all the way. Uh, how are you, Llama? It's good to see you. I keep, I keep killing innocent fish. Actually, I don't think I'm killing them every time I hit them, but I'm certainly ramming into them with this sea truck. Okay. Let's go back. I can't remember what um what rocks Is my webcam like delayed right now? Maybe. What rocks have silver inside? The mineral scanner can probably tell me.
That was the last thing we needed for the grav trap blueprint. Ew, Minecraft. Did we go to the bottom of this area? No, it looks like we did not. We didn't even gather basic stuff. Sea truck fragments. Who is this from? Okay, we're being chomped on. Hello? Excuse you. Do you mind? What's this? I can't really tell. Do we dare? Yeah, sure, why not? Mobile vehicle bay. Is playing a Minecraft mod? I don't have any problems with Minecraft. What do you have against Minecraft Indie? Indie's Guild, not Indie J. <laughs> it's gonna get confusing. I haven't played in a long time though. Stop chomping on this. Whoa. Oh, habitat! Finally. I feel like we didn't explore down here because I didn't have that thing yet. It was too stressful to get around. New blueprint synthesized. Without the sea truck. Window. Builder fragment. Da 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 da. We get. We better get another one soon. I want to build stuff. Solar panel. Okay. My irrational fear of cubes. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. There are a lot of cubes in that game. Bioreactor battery charger. That's so many things. Wait. So can we make a? Oh, we can make one. That's it. We didn't need another fragment. Oh, <gasps> look at all this stuff. Beautiful. Now we're cooking. Do you miss the intense blueprint unlock noise? Maybe they thought it was too much and removed it. No, I liked it. I do miss it. I think they have a pretty good balance of some sounds and, and visuals being the same and some being redone. Because I do appreciate some things being exactly the same. How deep can we... Nope. Oh, it's 150, not 200. Okay. Hull damage imminent. We're fine. Uh, so where do we want to build this base? In here? This area is super pretty. I kind of maybe think we should build it closer to the thermal stuff, though, because there's more resources. We're rich in knowledge, yeah. Absolutely. I feel like we hit the jackpot with that one scan. Or should we just do classic gen and build my base directly next to this safety pod? Is there anything else we need over here that we can't get near Station Delta, though? 
I don't think so. It's just sort of a pain to haul the every locker's worth of material. But once I get over there, we can make a new fabricator and storage, etc., etc., and bring this with us too. The mobile vehicle bay. While it's prettier over here, I feel like it's more practical to have a base near all of the gold and silver mineral resources. And lithium. And titanium. Although there's titanium everywhere in the little rock deposits. What's it going to take for us to make a fabricator that's going to be critical? Or no, to make the habitat builder itself. I'm not thinking this through. Oh well, here we go! Wow. This is fine. No, oh, don't chomp me. What's in here? This is cool. Let's make our base in here. Is it safe from those chompers? Wee! Too narrow, too narrow. Squish. Okay, all right, all right. Not worth it. Stop it. I think those are just gonna be end, those are gonna end up like stalkers though. They're not that big of a deal. So loud. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. They're everywhere. I can't escape them. What's down here? More of the same. Oh, and this is the other wreck. What is that? How come I didn't see you before? Are you friendly or nah? Vent garden? Pretty. Okay, that's super cool. Love it. Hi Zephyr, welcome in. How's it going? We um we made a friend. I didn't scan it yet, but we made a friend. <laughs> I never got used to their roars. I always thought it was a huge Leviathan making them. I felt that way about stalkers for a long time, that it was some huge beast and they were disproportionately loud so were the crab snakes i felt like they were disproportionately loud as well i feel like my favorite place so far is under that one arch
since I'm not really seeing anything that I that I love and I feel like it'll be good to have like I said the thermal power here maybe okay I just kind of got chomped on but this this is good right here no oh. it's cool blue it's boring but I think it'll be safe Where's my repair tool? There we go. I need to play below zero. Next after this. This is below zero. Uh, Human beings, it turns out, are weird. Let's enter again. Martin, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your Earth Badger your emotes, your ad free viewing. We're so glad to have you. Thanks for three months. That's a three month Earth Badge. I hope you're having a good Sunday. Yeah, this is very much below zero. There is no sea truck in the first game. <laughs> okay, I didn't bring anything with me. I need to find silver. No, because, oh, I'm so dumb. We'll put a beacon here. We can't. We, you only, oh. I needed to make this one thing before I left, which is the builder itself. Because I can't, that's the only fabricator in the game until I make another habitat builder. Man. Oh well. At least we have our sea truck. We're getting the lay of the land. We're, we're acquainting ourselves with this trek back and forth. And this is gonna need a charge soon. Did we get the moon pool? I don't think the moon pool recipe was included with the habitat builder. I think it was just compartments, yeah. That's what it looks like. Wait. Yeah. I don't know if this game also has a moon pool. You, you feel like since it's, since we got bought by Altera that most of the technology would be the same, right? So what else do we need? A battery? Oh, we should make a battery charger. We need so much silver. Is this an empty battery? Yeah. But we have a spare, one spare left. Oh, I had a beacon on hand. Great. Where's my mineral scanner? Chance of silver. Wait, go back. I'm going to run out of oxygen looking for this. 
Argentite outcrop. Nothing? No? We don't have those here? feels like we need so much how did I get so much gold and silver so early on in the other game did I just hoard it and stockpile it what is this sea truck What is this? Vehicle bay? Yeah. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Another one of those plants is we can go look at the sky again I feel like I'm doing a lot of back and forth and missing missing what it is I need to be collecting it's asking to be more focused than I'm capable of being plenty of oxygen no deep breaths yeah Because I just came all the way over here again. But I don't really have any of the supplies I need. I guess we could look for copper. Hi Jim, welcome in. How's it going? Copper's easier to find than silver. Here, how about these? It's titanium. Okay. Chains of lead. And we don't have any new markers or beacons from Alan to go after yet. So I think we just need to focus on making a habitat and making a couple of those lockers. I don't find the mineral scanner to be very helpful yet. I feel like I can go faster if I just use... I wish you could have the mineral scanner working while you're using a sea glide. Otherwise it's too slow. We never get to hang out on the surface. It's always too cold. Uh, here's some more. Some more ore.
All right, that's pretty good. Do you think there's anything on top of these giant ice floats? Creatures walking around? The little penguins again? So much titanium. Good, we're gonna need it later. Hello? All right, for this, we need copper wire. Now we gotta go out and get table coral. Do we have any in storage? Just one again. We do have a gold already, so that's good. I, I'm getting through this part so we can make our base so that we can be done with this area and not feel like I have to come back here all the time. That's the plan, at least. There's table coral down here, right? If I grab this real quick. No, but we will need these for batteries. Please don't bite me. Whatever is growling, leave me alone. I wish we could use the quantum locker as a teleport. <laughs> Forget teleporting or holding all the uh, ingredients. Just let me teleport back and forth. Amazing. What is that? Have we explored this already? Probably. Yep. I don't see any more table coral yet. I miss how abundant it was in the first game. They made it a lot harder to find. Am I just missing it? Ooh, this is cool looking. There's sea glides everywhere. <laughs> oh, what's this?
Frost anemone. Cool. A brine wing. And ping wings. Hello. Is there table coral over here? No. More frost in them. Oh, scary. Oh, it's a creature egg. Neat. I don't think I need to be over here, but couldn't help it. When do we get to officially name the sea truck? It's time for me to leave, but I hope that everyone has a great week. You too, Gummy. Thank you. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging with us. I feel like things are moving a little bit slower today, but that's because I don't have my act together with all the... the organizing. We have enough to make at least one computer chip. Let's just do that. Oh, the gold that I need is in here, right? Yeah. Sometimes it's nice to be reminded of the ocean. That's fair. We can do... Computer chip. But I need... I need silver. Is there no silver in this area? Oh, this is where that creature egg goes. I guess not. I'm struggling. Where's the beacon? I keep doing circles. Okay, here it is. I should probably make that one a different color. Let's make it red. Let's go! Silver, silver, silver. And I picked enough, picked up enough ribbon plants so that we can make some more batteries. That was important too. I, um, I've just been having a chill Sunday. Got to spend a lot of quality time with my cat earlier, Duncan. We took him outside for a walk with his little leash. And now we're swimming in the ocean. We made some amazing progress and got stuck in the usual. Oh, I know how that is. All too well. Uh, thank you again for the shout out for Game Tracks. Please, everybody, go give a follow. Go hang out over there if you like Metroid or you just like good vibes and hanging out and uh, retro games too. A fellow lover of streaming retro stuff. Duncan's a cute name. I actually didn't, I can't take credit for that. His previous owners named him, we just got chomped, named him Duncan and I liked it so much I kept it. I had to. Are these. Is this a blueprint I need to scan? Also, thank you for that follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Hawkeye, welcome in. Sea truck fragment. You seem friendly. 
not friendly. Uh, I have a med kit? Yeah. The thing I hate about exploring over here is all those, whatever those creatures are called, I can't remember. Thank you for contributing to the Elden Ring stream. We do have a channel point challenge going on. I'm doing a pacifist playthrough of Elden Ring. If we reach our goal, we add an extra stream to the schedule so that I can continue that playthrough. Can't trust anything underwater. Yeah, instant regret. Yeah, sometimes it, uh, it's unfortunate. There's, there's some creatures in these games that are giant and they're completely friendly and harmless. So you, you get tricked, you get led into thinking, oh, maybe this one is friendly. Usually the answer is no. I can't remember, have you played uh, any of the Subnautica games, game tracks? I think you have, I think we talked about it. Sorry, forgive me for getting it mixed up. I know some of the, some of our community members <laughs> um, have not and perhaps cannot because of fear of the ocean or it's just too scary and they like chilling and watching my Subnautica playthroughs because I try to make it as calm and not scary as possible. Sometimes it does get a little, a little jumpy. A little bit of it and struggled. Yeah, no worries. I don't know, and I've said this before, I treat this game as marine biologist, simulator, ocean exploration, ooh, look at the cool creatures. If I was at a, an aquarium, if I was at the Georgia Aquarium looking at the whale sharks going, whoa, that thing could <laughs> take me out, but it's so cool. Although, aren't whale sharks pretty friendly? They're not so bad. They're just giant. There is a, There are a couple YouTube videos of people playing Subnautica, the base game, and they have made glass tubes and habitats and walkways all the way into the Reaper territory. And they just have it set up so you can go all the way over there and there's a little lookout, like an observatory, where you can sit and watch the reapers swim by. I think it's the coolest thing. Sea truck fragment. What is that? I should bring, um, I should bring the sea truck down there. Now I miss Chicago Aquarium. Yeah, Shed is, uh, is a good one too. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Whale sharks are very chill. Mm -hmm. It's like exploring Africa. The lion could kill me in a second, but how interesting it is to watch them. Yeah. Yes. Oh, there's table coral yes. here too. Yes. Yes. Let me check this out. Did I already scan yes. this? Probably. Yes. 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 Thank you for those follows. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. I appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Whale sharks are filter feeders. Okay, I didn't remember that part of it. I knew that they were relatively... I don't know if I would use gentle, but maybe they're gentle. It's not like you see people swimming with them in the enclosure, right? Or do they? I don't think so. But it's not like they could, um... Chomp you. I feel like they could body slam you if they wanted to. Let's go down here. This this will we'll park down here and then we'll explore this little cave for silver. I see some more Too many uh, too many messages at once. So you can look into it. Got it. Thanks, Alan. New coordinates uploaded to PDA. But I keep forgetting what my crush depth is and going too deep. You can definitely swim with them, really. There's gentle as filter feeding whales. I love it. Oh, that's really cool. All right, new new bucket list then. Add it to the uh, to the list. Swim with whale sharks. 
I think let's grab one more of these and then officially switch over to silver because that's more important right now. And the next artifact is here? Yeah. Are these silver ones? This looks like lead? Yeah. Copper. Hmm. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Have done it. It was super cool. They're surprisingly fast. A lot of carnivorous sharks aren't very dangerous either. People just remember the bitey ones. Yeah. And I know people do the whole swim with sharks excursion or swim in an observation what like the cage they're not most of them aren't looking to eat people and if they just ate something else they're not going to be hungry anyways right i am not i no shark expert i don't know much Okay, silver, good. This is good. Good progress. We have oxygen plants in here, right? Yeah. We've got these green things. Do we need to follow those again? Do any of you drop silver? No. I am turned around. There's an oxygen plant in here though. Oh, uh, we have that egg already. Is this not the one we already went to? This seems so familiar. It's the same one, right? Yeah, this is the same. Oh well, we took a detour. Lemon shark and nurse sharks are darlings? Aw. Maybe we don't taste good. It's possible. <laughs> okay. Some weird noises happening in here. Oxygen plant. I'm gonna end up going in circles now. Is that a crash fish? Yep. I saw it and I snuck away. This seems fine. I'm gonna leave that one. Now I'm lost. Well, let's get some gold out of it. Aww. I need to, is there a way to turn off the topography thing? 
Yes, it blocks my view. All right, this seems safer out here. My knowledge of sharks is very limited and mostly comes from Animal Crossing, yeah. It's more like the sharks that attack people either don't care much about what they eat or they possibly like how we taste. Interesting. I blame Hollywood for creating Bruce the shark, yeah. Okay, that was pretty fruitless. Did we get any gold from that? I think all the, the deposits that had a chance of gold didn't have gold inside them. But I think we have enough silver for at least one wiring kit. Oh, we could use one more. And then we'd be in the best shape of all. It's so hard to not get distracted. There's too much to look at. There's too many sounds. Oh, wait, crushed up. I can't keep going down that way. You, you're gonna have silver. Come on! No! Okay, you. Yes! Doesn't the silver make the no i guess only the gold and the diamonds make the special rare item jingle there's too much water hi toure welcome in there's so much water we're going back home i miss the hoverfish i think they were my favorite from the first game I don't feel like I'm far enough to know whether some of my favorites come back. But I love all the rays. I, are there rabbit rays in this one? I haven't seen them yet. They might not be back. That's a shame. Now we're going to make the habitat builder and the second quantum locker is the plan. Smack. Hooray! Tools. Habitat Builder. Yes. Adding emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. Hmm. With the Builder tool, you can construct sea bases from raw materials. Advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No, no fun. fun. We should make this high capacity oxygen tank as well. But first, locker, let's pin this. We just need an advanced wiring kit. I have so many things pinned, oopsies. I think the, the depth module is gonna have to happen another day because that diamond So we can unpin those. Yeah, that one. And then the next thing... No, that should be it. Wiring kit. I don't have any more gold. 
copper wire. I did think I had one more? I guess not. Okay, but if we put... Oh my gosh, that's so unsettling. If we put these in here... Oh, we should make those a battery. If we put these in there, once we get to the gold on the other side... No, I only have one fabricator and it's over here. And I can't make... Oh, gosh. I need to look at something. We don't have a compartment. We only have... Or what is it called? A multi-purpose room? We only have compartments? Oxygen. God, why do I keep doing this? Why is there no multi-purpose room blueprint? But it said they added an emergency... something or other to our blueprints. No? I don't see it. Sleeper module. Okay. I don't understand. How much does it take to make a fabricator? Two titanium, two copper, two quartz. So if we put four titanium, two copper, and two quartz in here. No, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, I am, oh God, I am so confused now. You can carry it with you I thought the whole point of the quantum lockers was so that you could put stuff in it and then have a second one and you could pick stuff up back and forth. But you can also put stuff in it and carry it with you? Why did I... Here, let me read it really quickly. Equipment. No. That's not... It doesn't fall under those categories? Carefully harvest for high nutritional value. Oh, that's cool. The frost anemone. Oh, an event garden is actually a leviathan. 20 meters long, the juvenile vent garden represents the immature life stage of the fully grown established vent garden. The gentle giant appears to swim in aimless looping circles around mature vent gardens. Swimming. While their swimming can seem directionless at first glance, the young vent garden is actively growing and strengthening its tentacles for when it finds a vent upon which to anchor and mature. Bell. The bell of the juvenile vent garden remains sealed until it anchors over a vent. Once anchored, the heat and pressure activate a cluster of latent stem cells that develop into an opening over the course of a few months. Docile, not a threat. That's so cool. Brinewing is a carnivore. Beware a full bladder. Huh. 
A large bladder on the brine wing's underside fills with seawater as it swims. Some water is filtered out through an internal membrane, leaving behind a strong saline solution. Two flat, transparent extendable fins act as radiators, releasing heat and cooling the bladder's contents. The brine wing can contract its bladder, expelling supercooled brine and freezing seawater. Whoa, weird. And we have a log that I still haven't listened to. I can't find a description of that locker. So this must be the only one we get. Shares content with all other quantum lockers, but you can also pick it up while it has stuff inside of it. Huh. I need to find another quartz. Is quartz not on here? Here it is. This way, there's one. There's one up here. And... Let's grab one more. Maybe, maybe not. Hi, Porcus. How's it going? Welcome in. How are you? This side quest was perfect. Oh. And I was good at it. Thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your Earth Badger emotes, your ads reviewing. We're so glad to have you. The perfect side quest. <laughs> I'm doing okay. I, uh... There's just so much to do already in this game. I'm getting I'm getting a little sidetracked. We're using our mineral scanner to find quartz at the moment. I still feel like it's faster just to use my eyeballs sometimes. To use the sea glide. Yeah, look. There's two right there. <laughs> We're heading back. The last thing I need is gold. There's gotta be. We found one of those gold or deposits down here. I, I'm not gonna lose hope. There's gotta be another one. There's no way my only option is to go, oh no, I ran out of batteries. That my only option is to go all the way back to Station Delta to get gold every t every single time I need it. Will I regret this? I don't know, maybe. What is that? Mobile vehicle bay again. We've seen that same fragment before, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Is 
Do any of these have gold? Maybe not. <sighs> and I keep taking the same path when I come down here, which doesn't help at all. Okay, you're friendly. At least the music is cool. I feel like they did a better job so far in this game of not giving me stressful music in the calming areas. Like in the base game I always was it was suddenly horror music in an area that I thought was safe. Can I go up here? No. Maybe I should do the safe word thing again and the answer will be revealed to me like last time. Safe word, is there any gold in this biome at all? Or do I have to go back to... Delta Station. I feel like there is some, but it's deeper than I want to go right now. Or it's just really rare. Thanks, Llama. <laughs> Let's go back. Frustration. What if there's one right next to my house and I just never saw it? Could be that too. Okay, we're going to get our gold. When I get there, I'm gonna make a compartment and a hatch and I'm gonna need a solar panel. I'm gonna need all these things. I've watched almost a full play through the game, but I'm afraid I don't remember much. Oh, that's okay. I was hoping we would find it. Three more quartz, three more titanium, and one more copper. Oh, hello? Oh, I'm in the thing. I forgot. Okay, well, we have everything we need for a hatch, a solar panel, and a compartment. Do I have everything on hand for another? Yeah, once I get a gold, I'll be able to make the other locker. And then, no, not upgrades. It's so much harder to enter the sea truck than it was to enter the sea moth. Okay. Let's go get our gold. Let's save. I haven't saved in a while, I don't think.
I'm gonna make a highway. I'm gonna make a giant glass tube from Delta Station back to the emergency pod. I'm gonna make one of those arch warp stations. I wonder if we can do that in this game. I don't know. I don't know anything about this game, but I can say it sure needs more long glass tubes, right? Isn't it just calling for it? Like in Willy Wonka, yeah. And we'll fill the tubes with uh, chocolate. This is fine. Everyone here just wants to be my friend. <gasps> I see one already. I see the ore we need. Right there. <gasps> Two of them. Okay, that one doesn't have gold, so I don't care about it. Oh, this is neat. It's kind of making some weird noises, huh? Whoa. I'm gonna back out of there for a moment. All right, let's make our dumb little base in this tiny, tiny cove. Hold on, I need oxygen. No power. Oh no, I forgot to make batteries. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Can I take a battery out of something? I don't think so. Dang it. I said I was going to make more and then I forgot. I can't believe you craft a habitat builder and it comes without a battery inside of it? Didn't I have to use a battery to build it? That's lame. I know we haven't listened to that voice log. We're gonna listen to it. Eventually. Alright, this time I remember that I do have a beacon. So we can at least drop that here. Cute. Emergency supply cache. No, this is future base site. When your super futuristic high tech hardware runs on simple batteries instead of something more sophisticated. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, I'm so mad. When your super futuristic high-tech game makes you drive around in a sea truck and doesn't have teleportation already, even though you seem to have learned it from the aliens in the last game, so why haven't we developed our own yet? Can you take batteries out of a device if they don't run out? Because I thought if they were empty, you could swap them, but I didn't think you got the prompt to swap power unless they were empty. Oh. Ugh. Oh. 2.66. 3.21. Now it's officially further to go back than it is to continue. No, that's not true. What is my luck today? Is it double A or triple A? Yeah, um, it's <laughs> ribbon, ribbon plant powered. How many A's are in the words ribbon plant? Just the one? Mr. L, welcome in. Magus, welcome in. How's it going? It's like the way shooters often don't let you unload bullets from one gun if you want to use them in another. Yeah. I'm going to try this. Hopefully this will work. Um, like Darkstar said. So 
so this has a battery in it. Okay, 45. And then we want this here. Exchange power source. Okay, sick. <laughs> Here's my base. Tiny. Wait. Oh, I need oxygen. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Today I learned that I can one, survive a tire blowout on the highway, and two, change that tire. Oh my god, I'm glad you're okay. Oh, good job. <laughs> yeah. That's so frustrating. Is everything alright now? What a pain. I've never had a tire blow out on the highway. I have changed my own tire before. Yeah, big ouch. Um, I didn't think this through. Because I need to... Go back. I can't... I can't build the ingredients I need for the hatch and the fabricator are in the other storage locker so I have to go back to use the other fabricator still oh god to make the storage locker to get the ingredients out of it I feel like I did this in the worst way possible Future people of the VOD who are watching this playthrough, I'm so sorry. I got stuck on an idea, and I could not let it go. So we're doing this the super longest way. Glad you're all right. Yeah, I'm okay. The rim suffered much damage, but otherwise things are okay. All right. Hello, VOD gang. What's up? We are having a peaceful ocean exploration day with some setbacks. <laughs> it could be worse. Luckily, I was only on the highway for one city exit anyway. Okay. Yeah. If you're supposed to be on it for a long stretch. Or if you're on it on one of those stretches that's between, like, smack dab in the middle of two exits that are super far away from each other. Oh, I added some new BTTVs. We have a, a, a dance bunny? Bunny dance? And we have Kitty, which is just a cat chasing a little butterfly, I think it is. I said I was going to condense our list and then I added more. One hour later. Yes, exactly, Zephyr. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the dance bunny is really cute. What were today's setbacks? I just keep going back and forth between two locations really, really inefficiently. Like, I could just grab this locker and take it with me. But I refuse to do it. I just want to leave it here. So that my system will work. It doesn't make any sense. I still don't have enough copper to make more batteries. We're about to build this locker. This will solve all my problems. Will it, Jen? And we're going back again. If they're on 7TV, you could add them there. I don't use 7TV. I love when channels have good BTTB, 7TB, FFZ collections. We, I don't, I don't use Frank of Z emotes that much anymore. I feel like, um, oh, cool. I've had, like, I like our Frank of Z collection, but I never see them getting used. So I haven't, I haven't given them much love. I haven't given them much attention. I just, BTTB is. Welcome. To work. Comprehensive enough. 
Chuck, hi, welcome in. Thank you for the host. I love the Pridey Mo collection from I don't know how long ago. Yeah, the one from, is it from 2020, I want to say, with all the different animals? It's funny that I called this sea truck simulator today, though, because we are just going back and forth on the same road over and over again, hauling supplies. It's accurate. We're just driving around in our truck. Okay, so you can get me in here. Good to know. I thought this would be a nice, safe little base. Please be gone. Be gone from this place. Get out of my safety cave. Yeah, those ones, Maggie. Yep, that's such a good collection. Alright. See if this works. Yeah, my dreams are coming true. Yeah. Oh, but I brought enough to make a stupid warning emergency <laughs> power <only>. solar panel <laughs> production offline. <laughs> I don't care. Solar panel's not gonna work Warning. in here. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. It's fine. <laughs> it's your most used emo. I feel like when, yeah, I, I see that. I feel like when I think of you typing stuff, I think of that emo. The bees are all really cute. The penguin, I love the penguin in that collection. What happens if I put a solar panel on this? <laughs> it's close enough to the sun. It'll totally do something, right? <laughs> like, you know. Just stick it, you know, on top. <laughs> you getting any sun? <laughs> what other power sources do I have? Oh, I have bioreactor, but I don't have A multi-purpose room. Okay, hang on. What about coming up here and just rebuilding everything where the solar panel will actually work? I think that's what we have to do. For now, even though this is cute. It's not serving us. Serving our needs. Can we, yeah, pack this up? Can't deconstruct. Oh, what? Oh, frick. I'm gonna run out of batteries again. solar panel.
All right, we took care of that business. That's everything except for the beacon. Are we gonna get out of sun? Isn't it overcast here? Let's try it out. I still don't think this is gonna work. Hi, Paul. Welcome in. How's it going? Thank you for redeeming human kindness. Sending human kindness for me to you, to all of chat. Thank you for being here today. Thanks for being you. I appreciate you. You are loved. You are worthy. Happy Sunday. Michelle, hi. Welcome in. How are you? Um, I forgot to, te to, to text you, to message you. I got a bunch of your Talus messages in my game. <laughs> Since I'm playing Talus Principal, it was way cool. Oh, thanks, Indy. I'm glad. I'm glad I get to. You know. Even though I've run into some frustrations today, it's all gonna pay off in the end. I feel like this. This panel glitching into the. No, we're good. It'll pay off because we're learning lots of important base construction lessons. Sunday was pretty good, yeah. I was saying earlier, I got some quality time with Duncan. I got to take him for a walk today. <laughs> Macchiato, have a good sleep. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. I won't drown, don't worry. All right, we did it. A terrible little habitat. I'm gonna go get this beacon. We're gonna need copper for batteries pretty soon here. Oh, and a locker. I'm gonna need to make a locker in here. Besides the quantum one. Just this is fine. I'm gonna put it here. I should technically lurk since I'm also playing this. Oh yeah, that's right! How are you liking it? I don't really know what I want to put in here yet. I feel like my downfall is just that I'm extremely inefficient. Oh, and... Chompy guy. We still haven't been able to get up to that thing yet. Let's go look for more... Oops. Copper so we can make batteries. Hello? Shady, are you doing all right? We're getting chased. Oh, and there's another one right in front of me. I'm actually not really seeing much copper now. Lithium. 
salt, lithium, crystal sulfur. There's another one of these cool vent things. There's the wreckage. Quartz, big quartz. These are for silver, I think. Oh, these are new creatures. Here's more vents. Is that the shrimp thing? No. This is copper? Yeah. Or it could have copper. I feel like there's a, like a staticky noise? What is that? Is it the storm above me? Why is it such a, why, why am I getting so much weird audio? Still not finding any copper. I'll take silver though. Is it coming from the vents themselves? Maybe? water on the shore? Oh. I don't like the sound of it. Hmm, this drop-off seems fine. Oh, there's- no, there's titanium by this wreck, but I don't know if there's copper. We can try... Okay, we're getting farther away from the shore, and I still hear it. Ow. Oh yeah, and we have one piece of the laser cutter blueprint. I need to be on the lookout for that. There's really- so you- mm. There's really no copper over here. Well, there is, but it's like, if you want to get lots of copper, you have to stay near your, your emergency pod. If you want to get lots more gold, you have to come over here. There's no- It seems like there's not much in between. There's tons of lithium over here. Silver. I don't have to make a battery right now either, but I'm worried that my power cell for this sea truck is going to fall apart. I think there was some more ore down here. Yeah, we can try some of these. This 
gonna be hot. Okay, this is cool though. turned around warning 30 seconds of oxygen remaining I know I know I know all right do I have two I can make a battery I just, I, I wish I was a little more established with a home base that I liked before going after more of these Allen quests. But I feel like the game wants me to just go on these Allen quests because we don't have what we need yet. to make an established base. So that's fun. Hi Daxon, welcome in, how's it going? Welcome aboard, Captain. <sighs> All right, put this in here. put this in here. Actually, I'll keep a couple of those. So much junk in my pockets. But if I leave this, then I can transfer stuff back and forth, which is good. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm going over there anyway. I need rubber to make a power cell also. Oh, here, and I think I need to do a quick repair tool. got back home from a week away and so happy to see my cats again yeah I bet I would be too welcome back home that noise is gone I wonder if the noise was because I needed to repair the sea truck maybe uh, is an ender chest a chest that teleports items back and forth for you? I don't know what an ender chest is. I think it's... I th they're probably the same thing, yeah. We don't have to go all the way back to this base, but we need more copper and more rubber. Here's here's some rubber. Oh no, we have some in our chest at home anyways. The time I was off, have a great stream. Thank you, Indy, have a good one. Take care, we'll see you around. I never made a quantum locker. Can you set it down inside? I don't know. Have a ton of stuff to go through as I barely had time to get on the net. Yeah. Oops. We, uh, we hit somebody. I need to make a battery charger. Oh, we can do that. Easy. A 
Let's make a battery first. And then we make Welcome a power cell. Hopeful Rabbit, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Welcome in. I will also head out because Sleepy, of course, Llama, take care. Thank, thank you so much. We'll see you around. Fellow Indie, yeah. All Ender Chests share the same player-specific inventory. Huh. I think they're the same thing. What did I need for... It was a wiring kit and copper wire, I think. For the battery recharger, that'll be very helpful. And one titanium. Always searching for copper. Never finding enough. At least it's safer over here. We don't have to have the constant yelling of those enemies. What are they called? They're not enemies. They're... I'm gonna stop calling them platypuses. They're called... Aww. Don't take my stuff. You're cute though. Oh, were you giving me that? Are we friends? I don't think I had creep vine sample in my hands. I think it just gave me one. I wasn't paying close enough attention. I just wanted to know what these are called. Oh, that's why I can't ever remember its name. We'll call them cryptos. That's all we needed, right? Yep. You have some more- you have another one in your hands. You cannot have my sea glide, though. I need to, oh, the gift of the sea monkey. Okay, now I can listen to that. I need to make the battery recharger. I'll make something out of this sample. Oh, I don't have enough. Well, that's okay. <laughs> they tried. Yeah, thank you. Please no, no game information or spoilers. I'll figure it out in my own time. Let's listen to our audio logs. We listen to these. It's the personal logs, I think, that we need. One of them is. I went outside to check my mail. It's 109 Fahrenheit. Oh no, Trav. Everybody's having hot weather. Ours was relatively mild today, comparatively, but sounds like you got the rough end of things. We're going to listen to The Gift of the Sea Monkey, and then the other one is somebody else's log. The Sea Mo uh, okay, ready, go. The sea monkeys have changed their tune. If only I could let them know what I need. Maybe they could bring me something useful next time. Well, we'll have to uh, work on that. And the other one is... This?
Oh wait, this one doesn't have a recording. No, this is the mineral scanner. Uh, distress call? No. It wasn't alien data. Well, now I can't find it. I'm jealous you have AC. Oh no, Maggie, I'm sorry. I hope it gets fixed soon too. That's rough. Survival. Is it this one? Maybe it's this one. Fred, great to see you. Come on in. You don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no. You know me. Just a fanatic for details. And my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I know what that's like. Huh. Yes. Is that why you've been running so many personal errands for your colleagues? We asked you to limit them. Uh, so I am in trouble. That's not how I want you to look at it. Here's what I see. What? You're a team player. You want to get the job done. Well, I think I have a pretty good record there. You want people to like you. Has anyone complained? Fred, the trouble is, not everyone is as reliable as you are. Sometimes people need help being where they need to be and concentrating on their work. All the trips were work-related. It appears you transported tech for Lil rather far out from her base. Well, it needed to go deep, and she needed a sea truck. Her work is currently on surface installations. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. I, uh, well, I... No more favors to friends, agreed? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, I keep telling you. Call me Manu. <laughs> <laughs> Uncomfortable laughter. Okay, interesting. Insight there. Diva, welcome and how's it going? I hope so. The company I go through has been hella busy as I guess everyone is getting a new AC as there's a heat wave this week. Yeah, that's so rough. Everybody needs the same thing all at once. We need this battery charger. We need copper wire for that. We've got it. Well, we've got the stuff I can make copper wire with okay I still haven't made this we should prioritize a better oxygen tank and that's doable two glass Hmm. I'm gonna end up putting lithium in the quantum locker, I think. Maybe this battery. Maybe this rubber. I'm doing okay, thanks for asking. Trying to get used to some of the new stuff here. And uh, I'm putting stuff in this locker that I can only get in one location or the other. Because there's not rubber plants over by my other base. There is lithium over there, so I don't really need to put this in here, but maybe I will for now. And then we're going to go look for more quartz. Every summer it takes at least a week for my landlord to send a letter to everyone letting us know which need to keep their ACs at what temperature. Oh gosh, that's so involved. When I first started streaming, uh, the apartment I used to be in, they, you know, everybody goes through it if you live somewhere 
really hot, they were always replacing AC units, like always going from one unit to another and just making sure everybody had a livable apartment situation, you know? Because it got real hot and humid. But um, I was on the list to repair mine and they hadn't gotten to it yet and the condensation, the vents, were leaking into my floor. But it wasn't like a constant pouring of water. It was like a drip, 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 drip. And it would happen during stream and I would be like, okay, hang on, I need to take a quick stream break to go, uh, to go change the bucket or to like put a sponge in the bucket so that it wasn't quite as loud. I don't miss that apartment. But it's part of the stream history. My leaky ceiling. I know I said I need quartz, but copper is really handy, too. We're getting a bit luckier now with the copper findings. There's quartz up there. I don't really need tons of titanium right now. Just quartz to make glass. Quartz, where are you? Quartz, where are you? Oh, hi. I wonder if I give them quartz if they'll bring me quartz. We're the fortunate ones. Our apartment complex is government facilitated since everyone has a disability of sorts. Gotcha. They're staying on top of it for you. Hi. Thank you. Can I give you this? No, it just drops it like normal. Are we hanging out? Are we buddies? Do you know that I can't breathe underwater for very long? Before I moved back to where I am now, the apartment I lived in didn't have AC. Live in California and AC would be nice to have when it's 100 outside. Yeah, no kidding. California was weird about, I, I so I grew up in the Midwest and we always had air conditioners even though it doesn't get that hot. California, at least where I lived, like none of the units had air conditioners and it doesn't get hot except for like one month a year. It got so unbearable, but everybody just opens their windows and does airflow and fans for that one month and then I didn't really need AC the rest of the year but it was very very different from what I grew up with is that another sleeper module I feel like I've looked at this before grew up in Maine and nothing there is set up with AC we had to use a bunch of window units yeah that's different in Missouri yeah Okay, well, I have enough of these now. To be fair, winter lasts about six months, so heating is a bit more important, yeah. The priorities. I think when we, I was younger and when, when we lived in Massachusetts, I wasn't as aware of like paying attention to the different rentals and stuff. But I think my parents looked really hard for one that did have air conditioning because it wasn't nearly as common. And it, the summers get warm, you know, definitely humid. I grew up with a swamp cooler. I was horrible. It was horrible. We switched to AC unit. I'm not used to swamp coolers now. Yeah. The no coast area where we get all four seasons in two months. Yep. I've lived a bit of everywhere. I'm familiar. Okay, we need 
this glass, this glass, and this. High capacity, let's go. All right, we're getting somewhere now. It was a slow start, but we're doing better. Yes, much improvement. I really don't need this creep vine sample. Oh wait, I was gonna turn it into something. Oh, cause it's one by itself, so I can't even turn it into something, right, right. Uh, let's drop this. It's just floating in midair. Cute. It's hit and miss. It really depends on where you live, but I had an apartment in the middle of the city and the heat was retained and everything. Oh, gosh. I forget. It's Glo Gloucester. I forget how to do all my pronunciations. It's been so long. Worcester, I, I will never forget. Leicester, Lemonster, all the ones that have fewer syllables than you would think. Yeah, Gloucester. Um, so I'm gonna put some of this stuff. We do wanna be careful, like, I mean, cities can be okay, but no, obviously don't get very specific location information out. You all know, keep yourself safe. So now I can put these in here so that we have copper at both locations ribbon plants at both locations would be nice. All right, what's my next mission? Um, battery recharger, which we have everything we need. So much titanium. Alright, let's go back and how many ribbon plants does it take to make a battery? Two? We have one. I feel like we should make one more and then put both put that one in a charger and then we'll have a good rotation going. And then we can go towards this thing, this other beacon. Not to switch topics, but I was on Twitter earlier and saw a tweet by one of my favorite YouTubers. Forget astrology, I want to know which god you think would be your parent if you were a demigod. <laughs> I like that. What did you come up with? I'd have to think about that for a while, too. I don't know. I feel like all my answers would be very Lore Olympus specific, too. Because that's what I'm- that's how I get my exposure to Greek mythology these days. <laughs> Um, ribbon plant. Hmm, this doesn't seem right. I think my mom would be Aradia. She's the Italian goddess of witchcraft. She protects witches, male and female, against the aggression of religious persecution and condemnations and symbolizes the air element and the moon. Very cool. Never heard of that one. I 
don't see any ribbon plants here. What the heck? Where'd they all go? Oh, we're getting chased. At least we have better oxygen capacity now. Chose an Italian one because I'm a quarter Italian. It's going to be my parent. Might as well be from my ancestral country. That's cool. Oh, is that the same as Hecate? Or is it a different deity? Oh, we've been in here before. Are there elect uh, ribbon plants in here? Electric plants? I don't think you can scan for ribbon plants because it's not a mineral. But maybe, I don't know. Oh, this is tiny. It's cute. Oh. Yeah, we need that charger. Hey, friends. What you doing up here? Where were all those- where are the ribbon plants? Were they closer to my base? Let's go back. Um, I guess I'll use this. No, these are both dead. We're getting ribbon plants so I could make a new battery. I just feel like I can never find what I need. Hi, do you have any ribbon plants? Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, here's some, thank goodness. The, it's because I'm spoiled from, what is it? The acid mushrooms. Those were always right under my base. In abundance. I never had to think about it. Slowly swimming back. Oh yeah, we can unpin this. All right. We've got a power cell in case the C truck battery runs out. We put a bunch of stuff in the other locker. Uh, let's say goodbye to this base for now. I think, I think we're ready. I don't know. Who can say? I'm hoarding too many supplies. see that beacon. I know it's there. We're going in the wrong direction for it. Back to the screaming. The cryptos.
so angry. Alright, now the other question is, do we have enough power to make a battery recharger here? Hmm. Oh, interesting. You can move things around. Nice. This one's dead. And this one's very nearly, but that's okay. Progress. Let's make another one. Two batteries, a power cell, two ion cubes. Uh, I think I'll put the rest of this here. Oh, there's another egg. Because I don't need to go swimming around with it. Alright, I'm feeling better. Did we need to make this base all the way over here? Probably not, but that's okay. It was fun experiment. Very different from what I did in the last game, which was just never build a base for the longest time and stay in my original life pod for the longest time. Wait, where is this? 354 meters? Interesting. Uh, how do we get to that? What if we go deeper down here? Can I fit through here? Sure. Three fifty seven. No, 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 don't eat me. Okay, but we're at our crush depth, so do I just Try this out. This is the new hot Daniel. Yeah, this is cold Daniel. <laughs> oh, this is why I needed another battery. Oh, and the other one. I forgot that that was run out. Oh, well. No crash fish. No crash fish. Not allowed. Is this where I got lost earlier? We just going in circles here? Somebody's going by my house rather loudly.
More circles. Just doing circles. I don't think this is what we need then. Oh, does this take two power cells? Is one of these already at zero? Let me check. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. I appreciate it. Yeah, this one is already at zero. Okay. Oh, there's the shark. There's a shark. Robin, I have something important to share. Another yes. artifact? Yes, although... You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. Hi, Alan. Signal location uploaded to PDA. 1,200 meters away? I can barely find the one that's right under my nose. This is tough. Retro, welcome in. How's it going? We're going back because I want to charge that other battery that I forgot to put in there. <laughs> home sweet home! napping on Tonda's stream and here I am welcome in <laughs> I appreciate it you uh raided us from game tracks I think I believe I think that's who Tonda came in with naps are good Sunday's a good day for naps is this the one that's super far away should we try oops should we try that one instead no, I shouldn't give up on this closer one for now, but I don't understand how to get to it yet. It's right there. Oh, maybe I can get to it through here. Okay, we're getting pursued. It's fine. Double raid, yeah. A little bit. Raid train. That happens to me too, where I end up in a stream. I'm like, I wonder how I got here. How many channels did it take for me to get here? Okay, well, I don't think I can fit this sea truck all the way down here. Also, that looks quite dangerous. Also, this already comes out to the surface again. This is fine. Cool. Okay. That is not the way. Didn't beat your triple raid record? Yeah. One day. I'm suddenly craving fried seafood. I gotta find a good seafood shack around here. Mmm, that does sound pretty good. Don't know much about Subnautica except I find it relaxing. Me too. I know we, we get chased. And there's angry critters, but I find it so relaxing. When we beat the first one, I put in so many hours after beating it of just like upgrading my vehicles and my base and chilling and exploring that I never thought that I would I wouldn't I I would do. Like I thought once I beat it I'd be done with it, but I I really enjoyed uh just playing to relax. Just playing to play. Regardless of the plot. This is all in the wrong direction, though. Not too anxiety-inducing. Not for me. I know some people can't do open ocean, open water. 
Thalassophobia is no joke. I do know the Nancy Drew games. Yeah, I've never played them. Maybe someday. Oh, we're stuck again. Isn't this where I just was? Now I'm just beating up this poor vehicle. <laughs> How did I get in there? I was a big fan of the long dark for years, the same reason until one too many bear attacks. Oh no. Oh, that's definitely stressful. I don't play a lot of survival games. I'm not, like, we're playing freedom mode. I'm not big into the survival mechanics of all of your heat and energy and food meters running out. Oh, look at all these. But in this game, I don't mind it. Okay, I should probably make a note of those, huh? Three hundred forty meters away. But how? How do I get to you? Ugh. This isn't helpful. Maybe we go to it from the other side of the Delta Station Island? May I give a trivia about the first game? Sure. The first game is fine, as long as it doesn't spoil anything in this one. Glad to hear we won't be chased by giant sea creatures, <laughs> yeah? The most I will play as far as survival is Minecraft. You can play pacifist in some game modes in Long Dark. Oh, that's cool. Sorry about your typing. Oh, please, you're fine. Don't, don't worry about it. No need to apologize. If, uh... I ever need clarification, I will ask, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Lonnie Manella, the woman who voiced Nancy, also voiced the Sea Emperor. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's why you were asking about Nancy Drew. I get it. Great voice. Keep going this way. Are there like tunnels up here that I can swim in? No, that's just the ground. Maybe down here? What's that over there? Okay, I'll be back. So many ribbon plants. Is this a trap? It's probably a trap. These are grow beds. Oh, it's growing. Oh, I see. I can make my own exterior grow bed and keep a supply of ribbon plants. Smart. Very smart. Who's yelling at me? You are. And I don't know that you're yelling at me specifically. Okay. Someday I hope to play Subnautica on my YouTube channel. I'm going to name the Emperor Drew. <laughs> I like it. Okay, let's go back this way. I had my fun. I suppose lights would be good, huh? I noticed you also play without hunger and thirst. Oh yeah! I love it. Freedom mode all the way. Hi, Remy. Welcome in. Happy Sunday. I'm off to bed. Have fun with stream and see you next time. Dax and take care. Have a good sleep. Thanks for being here. Remy, how you doing? Oh, is this our clue to get into the... I get so... I need to start leaving more beacons. I get so turned around. 
Everything looks like a clue I've already visited. Ugh. Warning. Maximum depth reached. I know, Hull I know. Damage imminent. No hull damage. It's fine. You're fine. Doing it doing okay, a bit tired. Yeah, I'm I'm doing good. It'll be time to rest here in a bit after we stream this, but I'm doing all right for now. Okay, you're repaired. How? Any tunnels? Anybody got any? Oh, here we go. Is this the same freaking one we were at earlier? Probably. But this seems like it should be the right place. I must just keep missing a clue. Like, I feel like I'm going farther away. I should, no, this is the old one. I should keep that on so I know when I'm going to it instead of the place that I want. And there's a shark. Where is my thing? Oh, I'm gonna die. I don't even know where my sea truck went. I went in the tunnel and came out a different exit. There it is. Okay, I want to turn this back on because I keep going to it on accident. How am I supposed to find this? And the one I'm looking for is Q59. I know, we just did this. Two hundred eighty-one meters. What is this? Sea truck. Gonna move on with my day. Glad I met you fellow humans. Thanks, Retro. Take care. Thanks for coming with the raid train. Have a good rest of your day. Understand. Oops. Come on. Two ninety two. Is there a tunnel down there? No, just some table coral. We will have fun. Thanks, Retro. I'm like. <laughs> I won't call it 
yelling at the screen, but I'm like <laughs> frustrated with I keep running my sea truck into stuff, which is no good, but it's not really taking much damage. We're trying to find, I don't know how familiar you are with Subnautica or Below Zero, we're trying to find this artifact and it's got me baffled. Thank you for the shout out, Maggie. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. It's a Souls-like Metroidvania. Oh, nice. Sounds cool. Sounds right up my alley. I like Metroidvanias a lot. We haven't done one in a little while. We were going to play Bloodstained, and then I kind of just had a change of heart about it, wanted to change our stream plans. But there's this one called Haiku the Robot that's on my wish list that looks really good. I've heard good things about it. Bloodstained is good. Mm -hmm. I might do that. I might just do some more classic Castlevania because I love Symphony of the Night. And maybe I just need more of that in my life. I need to watch the Netflix show. I still haven't. Here, is this our entrance? This seems promising. Doesn't seem ominous at all. This is fine. Can I even get through these? Yeah. Ooh, cool music. Castlevania is like, what if hot people fought monsters and other hot people? <laughs> yeah. Hi, JJ. Oh, hi, JJ. Welcome in. <laughs> I was like, wait, I know that name. What's up? Oh, hi, there's a sea monkey down here. What you got? <gasps> Thank you. We're friends. Have I been? Whoa, what is that? Have I been down here before? to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger. Obelisk. I hope you will continue to search for more of these. Yeah, sure. Okay. If there's gold all surrounding them, I'll keep looking. Yeah, I do need to catch up on... Is Castlevania for Netflix, is it just the one season? Is it lots of seasons? Right now, I am enjoying the unique experience of watching Better Call Saul for the first time without having watched any Breaking Bad. So that's been... I don't know. I really like it. Breaking Bad is not my jam so much, but Semi and I have been watching Better Call Saul. It's like his favorite show of all time. Oh, what is... What is, what is that? Oh, it's a sea monkey egg? Have a nice death is a cute metroidvania that's roguelite, super charming. Castlevania has four seasons. Oh, awesome. I don't have a way to hatch it yet. I feel bad, like, taking it from its nest. I'm gonna put a beacon. Oh, come on. Sea monkey nest. I mean, there's lots of sea monkey nests, but this is the one with the egg. And maybe if you have a pet... Oh, gosh. Hold on. Is that thing going to regrow in time? Probably not. A pet sea monkey, it can bring you little treasures. That was a very cool find. Whoa, what are you? Okay, I don't have my sea truck. Let's surface and come back. Can we make it in time? Oh my gosh. There are more seasons now? I've only seen the first one. Okay, gotcha. Hi, cat. Welcome in. I like it a lot so far. It's really good. So many um, nice improvements and adjustments from the first one, and I already loved the first one. 
Castlevania show is good. Starts kind of slow, but picks up. First season is basically prologue. Okay. I will keep that in mind. That can be tough to get through sometimes. Pinacarid? What are you? Oh, you're hanging out up here. Oh, they're really cute. Hi. It's very cold up here. Okay, we're friends now. Yes, hello. Can I help you? <laughs> uh, I want to go scan those jellyfish things. I guess I could go a little faster, huh? Couple of flappy boys, yeah. These, what are they? Metroid larva? Eye jelly. Special. Oh yeah, you look like an eyeball. Love it. Um, is my only way to get back to my sea truck to go through there? I don't think so. I think, I think this is close to where we first started the game. The first time we got something stolen from us by a sea monkey. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe not. But if I go back down through that hole, <laughs> there should be more oxygen plants down there. And I can get back to my sea truck, hopefully. Flappy boys, yeah. That's perfect for the shark emote. What else have I been watching? We've been trying... We're watching Star Trek Voyager in the Discord. We're on season two. We are doing that after stream today for anybody that's interested. And then I really... We, we started Discovery... Me and Semi. Whoa, what are those? But we took a little break from it to watch Better Call Saul instead. Whoa. Oh, thank you. Hi. Okay. Okay. Propulsion cannon. So do they collect these shiny things and make nests out of them? That's what it seems like. And I really want to start Strange New Worlds, too. There's too much TV that I'm behind on. Okay, this is where that thing was. Oh, an ion cube. And, oh, more babies! Ultra capacity tank. I'm afraid to take those oxygen plants and then the next location I go to won't have one. But this one has it. Oh, this is where I put that other beacon. Okay. There's another spinner plant. Yeah, I don't know where my sea truck is. It's probably fine. It's just over here. Let's just go to it. It's not that far away. That was very fun. Have I scanned these? Yes. That's the hole we went down in. Was it helpful? I don't know. Was it more interesting than what we were doing before? Absolutely. We should read some of the logs that I just got.
alien data. Obelisk. This artifact's function is poorly understood, but scans indicate it's generating a strong electromagnetic field. Some hypothesized functions, energy transfer device, geomagnetic scientific instrument, communication network node. It's, uh, it's radio, a radio tower, basically. Pinacarid, an intelligent and curious creature which hunts and forages below the waterline but returns to the surface to breathe. Its many flippers make this an acrobatic hunter underwater but vulnerable on land, where it's capable at best of a fast shuffle. We saw. Generally consume small fish, side facing eyes unusual for predator, purple tinted antenna on the head detect movement of prey fish nearby, shows no aggression towards human, even a curiosity if there's a chance of a meal friendly. Cute. And eye jelly resides in deep waters. It's made of three distinct body sections, tentacles, main body, and bell. The end tentacles are covered in bioluminescent nodes which attract prey. When the tentacles are touched, they emit a shock through specialized cells called cytocytes. Cytocytes? I don't know how to say that. Within these cells are venomous harpoon-like structures called nematocysts, nematocysts, which are triggered by touch. The eye jellies gently drift with little locomotion, though they can track movement with their large, singular eye. Okay, I'm glad I didn't get shocked by one. And exterior grow bed. We know how that. We know how that works. I'll save again. We might be wrapping up pretty soon, but I I feel kind of defeated about this particular artifact. You know. Hmm, what's this giant open ocean over here? This seems safe. Oh, crush depth. No, not yet. Hello? Don't you normally hang out by the vents? What are you doing over here? only got to 150 meters for crush depth. <sighs> Hi Dino, welcome in. How's it going? I'm further away than I was before. Drat. Oh, those things are so cool looking. It's a going, yeah. I feel that. Happy Sunday. This is way cool. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. I swear I was at 146 and then all of a sudden I was at 153. I got distracted by something shiny. What's going on over here? Oh, we've we've scanned these already, these pyre things. Is there an entrance down there? No, not that I can see. We're getting further away. Oh, what's this distant light? Let's go towards it. I'm loving this game. I'm a little stuck right now, but I do really like it, Dino. It's, uh... <laughs> it's super fun. All of the creatures are yelling at me, but it's super fun. I'm chilling. I'm doing my marine biology research. And... Try not to die. 
Who is that? Is that a different creature? No? Same as usual? Okay. This is the one we're trying to get to. Q59. And I'm just going around in circles at this point. Oh, this is the only- this is the other leviathan we've seen. Should we try to scan it? And see if we survive? Hi. You're gentle, right? Come here. You're too fast. They're so fast! Oh, well, and... Okay. Chelicerate? <laughs> oh, I don't think I have a med pack. That was an oversight on my part. Well, shoot. It takes... Mesh to make one? Where's my sea truck? Here. I think you're faster than I am. Boop. So. <laughs> this has been a nightmare. Let's. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out med packs. I'm gonna have to repair the sea truck. <laughs> um, and I don't know. I'm stuck on this other artifact. Which one is this? PK-8. We have that one. I can't remember if our original uh, life pod has med pack stuff. Sorry, let me... Okay, we're, we're safe now, I think. I actually don't know if we're safe. I don't have a good grasp of what the different zones are in this game yet. Yeah, we do have the... Sorry about that. Uh, we have the Pepe command that explains why that message got deleted. Um, no big deal, just so you know, for this channel, for my channel. The timing on that was intense, yeah. Thank you, Maggie, I appreciate it. We're going home. The original home, even though I was ready to move on to the new base. Oh, don't, do we have, maybe that's something I can build, I have the blueprint for it now, is a med pack generator, actually. Or maybe we can try to go to the artifact that's a thousand meters away instead, since this one's not working out. I don't think this base has a med pack generator because I think the thing we popped out of in the very beginning of the game has one and that's it. Here, let's stop for some mesh. Is the global emo equivalent acceptable? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. I have the global BTTV Pepe's, I have those blocked. But if there's an equivalent that's not, that's the same, like, uh, what's the word? Expression? Hmm. 
then that's fine. Okay, we made it back. Yeah, that's fine. I'm curious. I don't know which one you're talking about. And it's not like, it's not going to time you out or ban you or anything. Like, it's just the, it's just the delete message function on the bot. No, no repercussions if we're testing out emotes and words. Yeah, this does not have a med pack generator. What does it cost to make one and do I have them yet? No, I don't have that recipe yet anyway. But we can do this. Phew. Not even fully healed. And I forget that it takes two samples to make one mesh. I have this me this sample floating around. We need to do some repairs here. There's some seaweed over here, yeah. I think we'll do these med packs and then we might wrap up. I'm stumped on these artifacts. We made we made okay progress today, but not quite what I was expecting. How many of these can I grab? Okay, inventory full. Mesh. 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 And... Stockpile. 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 Do we have any more clues in our notebook here. We have a propulsion cannon recipe that's new. Why? I don't want to pin that. Okay. No. No new logs. Okay. These are hard to find. I feel like I'm missing something, but we'll worry about it next time. So today we almost got the scan on the, oh, I can't remember what it was called, the big shrimp. And we drove the sea truck around. We set up these quantum lockers. We have a second mini base. We found the, ob the obelisk. We talked to Alan. It was alright. We made some progress. I'll just, I don't know why I got out. I'll just save in here. Uh, and end in here. Thanks, everyone. It was pretty productive, yeah. I feel like some of the parts I was very tedious about, but others were just fine. Thank you for watching my Subnautica playthrough. I stream Subnautica every Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time on my Twitch channel. Thank you to my July Kofi supporters, Oracle the Great, Semi-Cortex, Toon Wolf, 
and 8-Bit Trav. I appreciate you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.